Projectile motion is the motion of an object that is launched into the air and moves under the influence of gravity alone, with no other forces acting upon it except for air resistance, which is often neglected in basic calculations. A projectile follows a curved path known as a trajectory. To calculate the trajectory of a projectile, you can use the principles of kinematics, which describe the motion of objects without considering the forces causing the motion. Here's how to calculate trajectories in projectile motion. Break motion into horizontal and vertical components. Projectile motion can be broken down into horizontal and vertical components. The horizontal motion is uniform and occurs at a constant velocity, while the vertical motion is affected by gravity and changes in velocity over time. For horizontal motion, since there are no horizontal forces acting on the projectile, assuming air resistance is negligible the horizontal velocity remains constant. Analyze the motion. Use the horizontal and vertical equations to determine how the position, velocity, and acceleration of the projectile change over time. Determine the time of flight, the total time the projectile is in the air, and the maximum height reached by the projectile. Combine horizontal and vertical components. Combine the horizontal and vertical components of motion to determine the complete trajectory of the projectile. This can be done by plotting the horizontal position, x, against the vertical position, y, at different time intervals. Solve for specific parameters. You can also solve for specific parameters, such as the range, horizontal distance traveled by the projectile, and the maximum height, by applying appropriate equations and principles of projectile motion. By following these steps and using the principles of kinematics, you can calculate trajectories in projectile motion and predict the path of a projectile launched into the air at a certain angle and velocity.